The hot rod is a staple of American history. Regularly called a street rod, a hot rod is a classic American car with a larger-than-usual motor modified for speed. It is this powerful engine that gave the hot rod its name. In the street rod's history, the expression hot rod appears to have first showed up in the last part of the 1930s in Southern California. The first hot rods were old vehicles, frequently Fords, which were altered to lessen weight and improve aerodynamics. The engine was changed by tuning or supplanting with an all the more impressive sort. A portion of the typical modifications were to take off all insignificant parts like convertible tops, hood, bumpers, windshields, and lowering the chassis. Here are three interesting facts about the American Hot Rod. Cheap Ford flathead V8 motors were the most well-known beef-up decisions in 1932. The first Hot Rod exhibition occurred in Los Angeles at the National Guard Armory in January 1948. 10,000 people attended this famous event. 1950s drag racing tracks were up to one mile long with four lanes for racing. The enormous oversized wheels found on today's rods were also sourced from the early days and are based on the same need to improve performance. Hot Rod pioneers began fitting great back wheels to raise gear ratio at high speed, while in the front more modest wheels permitted the vehicle to rake forward for improved aerodynamics. Hot Rodding Outside the United States Instances of nations where a hot rod culture developed parallel in conjunction with the one in the United States during the 20th century are Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, Sweden, and Finland. In every country, the hobby of hot rodding has needed to adjust to local conditions. One example is Sweden, where the law up to 1982 required custom-built passenger cars to pass a crash test. If you're ready to invest resources in a custom car or collect a hot rod yourself, here are some tips to help you. To begin with, you'll need to invest in the cost of the car, which could range from a few thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars or more for a custom vehicle. If you plan to drive your car as opposed to keeping it in a garage, you'll also be responsible for taxes and insurance. Special insurance may be required for a uniquely assembled car with antique and modified parts.
At present, the addiction to hot rodding is not subsiding. You'll find many people improving and updating their hot rod cars. Enthusiasts spend several thousand hours or all their free time to repair and modify their cars. Today, street rods have evolved into cars designed more for show. Most of them are only driven occasionally or not at all. They only come out of the garage to be transported to a show or competition in a closed car trailer. Owners are sometimes so obsessed with the flawlessness of their show car that driving down the street is not perceived by them as a favorable moment because they want the car to arrive at the exhibition in showroom condition. as long as there are people who love hot rods and their history, who are ready to spend a lot of time and effort on creating a unique car. This culture will not be forgotten, but will only increase momentum.